Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to address the issue that Mac users are having when upgrading to Yosemite where Wi-Fi just drops out. You have all of your Wi-Fi settings configured correctly, your router configured correctly, but you're still losing Wi-Fi intermittently. I found an advanced solution that solved the problem for me, so I'm going to show that to you in this video. But first I do want to go over some of the basics just to make sure that we have everything else configured correctly, and then we can go ahead and try this second solution that I have. So obviously you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on, so you can go to the Apple menu, system preferences, going to click on network, make sure that under Wi-Fi that it is turned on as you can see mine is and that you're connected to the network that you want to connect to obviously. From here quickly click on advanced and make sure that in the TCP IP tab that it's set to using DHCP which basically means it's going to enter all of the IP addresses, subnet masks, for you so you don't have to do that manually and then under DNS just to be safe uh, if you have any DNS servers currently listed in here um, just click and see if you can delete them out if you can't delete them out that means it was acquired automatically uh, so you can't change those settings but if you entered one manually then you could delete that one out so we want to make sure that we don't have any manually entered DNS servers now those are the basics if that isn't working for you and your Wi-Fi is still dropping intermittently here's the solution that I have we actually need to delete some of our preference files here on our Mac operating system so that those files will be recreated and it will hopefully fix your issue as it did for me so from your desktop make sure that you're, you actually have clicked on your desktop and you've got finder up here in the top left corner of your screen go ahead and press command shift G this will allow us to manually go to a particular folder on our computer so that we can delete out some preference files so go ahead and type in forward slash library forward slash preferences forward slash system configuration and then a final forward slash and click go. This will take you to a lot of the system configuration files here on your Mac computer and what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete some of these. So first, well, we're not going to delete them fully in case our solution doesn't work, but we're going to remove them from this folder. So first, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop and you can just call this Wi-Fi backup or whatever you want to call it. Now we're going to move some of the files from this folder, our system configuration folder, into the Wi-Fi backup folder. So any of the files that mention airport or Wi-Fi, we want to move out of here. So I can take, you know, com.apple.airport.preferences. I can also take this one. I'm going to take this um, network configuration, the Wi-Fi message tracer, network interfaces, and then also I want to take out this preferences file. So if we actually just move all of these files to our desktop, it's just going to make a copy of them. It's not actually going to remove them from this folder. So what you want to do is make sure that your trash is empty so there's nothing else in there, and then delete these files. Just right click and go move to trash. You might have to enter your password. And you'll notice those files are no longer in the system configuration folder. Now, to be safe, don't empty your trash. You can go ahead and go into your trash, select all of these files, and move them to your Wi-Fi backup folder. And we'll go ahead, and I already have them in there because I did this before showing you guys. So now they're all in my backup folder, but I don't have any of those files in the system configuration folder. So now what I would do is go ahead and go to the Apple menu, restart your computer. When your computer has finished restarting, you can re-enable your Wi-Fi. It will recreate those files for you. Shouldn't take long at all. It should happen pretty much uh, right away. And hopefully it will fix the problem of your internet intermittently cutting out. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more technology, tips, and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.